You may have seen the video announcing that SSD Houdini is coming to work at our school, but there's some more information that you need to know about him. First, let's check out some pictures. We have SSD Houdini and he is laying or sitting or in his bed. He has a bed in my office and in Mrs. Warfel's room. Anytime he lays down in his bed is a clue that he needs to rest and we should leave him alone for a little bit. SSD Houdini is a facility dog, but what does that mean? A facility dog is different from a service dog, it's different from a therapy animal, and it's different from an emotional support animal. A facility dog is a service dog here at our school, but he's not a service dog anywhere else. At home, Houdini is my pet. We play and we snuggle and he doesn't have to wear his vest. If I take Houdini to the store, he is a dog in training. So he's working on his cues and he's practicing his different training things, but he's not a full service dog if he's at a store with me. Houdini is only a full service dog here at school. That's what facility dog means. So what does a dog and handler team look like? So I am his handler. I'm the adult who's holding his leash. Mrs. Warfel is also a handler for Houdini. And Mrs. Gilman is another handler. You might not know her as well because she doesn't work in our building every day, but she is also allowed to hold Houdini's leash and take him places. So let's see the different parts of a dog and handler team. First, you'll notice in my hand I'm holding something. It has a rubber band that goes around my wrist and I hold it in my hand and if I push the button, it makes a click noise. Every time I click this clicker, it tells Houdini that he did something right. And then I also have a treat pouch. It is red and I wear it around my waist and that is where I keep Houdini's treats. So every time I click the clicker, it tells Houdini he did something right and then I give him a treat as a reward. You'll also notice I'm holding a leash. Houdini will be wearing a leash when he's at school. And this is just a reminder that he is always safe here at our school. You'll also notice Houdini wears a green vest. When he's at school, he's working. So he wears his green vest as a reminder to us and to him that he's working. Sometimes Houdini is allowed to take his vest off if he's in play mode. Play mode means that he can jump around and have more fun, but work mode is when he wears his vest, and that's when he knows he needs to be a little more serious. So a few things to remember. Houdini is at our school to support us. You can pet him and interact with him, but you also need to stay focused on your work. So if Houdini's in your classroom while you're learning from me or your teacher, if he comes up to you, you can pet him on the head, but you still need to be listening to what the adult in the room is saying. It's also important to remember that Houdini is a dog. He's going to need some breaks during the day, too. It's hard to work all day long with no breaks. That's why Houdini has a bed in my office and in Mrs. Warfel's classroom, because that's where he can go when he needs a break, when he needs to rest. You may be asking, what do I do if I don't want to interact with Houdini? 
All you need to do is cross your arms over your chest and ignore Houdini. That's a clue for him that you don't want him to come over and sniff you. If you cross your arms and ignore him, maybe even turn your body away from him, you're not very exciting for him to want to play with anymore. But if there's someone else in the room who is wanting to play with him, he's going to go sniff them instead. It's also important to let me know that you don't want to interact with him, and I can be sure to try and keep him away from you. You may also be wondering, are there rules for interacting with Houdini? And there are, but that's in a separate video, because the rules for interacting with Houdini are going to change as our restrictions related to COVID-19 change. Our goal is always to keep the learners, staff, and SSD Houdini safe. That's why the rules are a little bit more strict right now and can be more relaxed later as we see how things are progressing with COVID-19. Another thing you might be asking is, what cues does SSD Houdini perform? That is another video separate on its own so that you can watch that whenever you want. So make sure you check out Houdini's other videos for more information. There's another video that shows his cues and another video that shows the rules or the expectations for when you interact with him.